Hello, this is the video abstract of our Nile AFM mini research project, study of acid treatment for surface modification on PMMA. The sample we are using in this project is PMMA with and without our acid treatment. And PMMA is short for polymethyl methacrylate. And this material is commonly called as acrylic. The geometry of our sample is 7 mm by 7 mm by 1 mm. The probe we are using in this project is HQCSC17, which has a resonant frequency around 13 kHz, so it is a relatively soft probe. The acid treatment on PMMA is done by 5 mL water plus 2 mL DMF plus 0.04 gram of PMMA teeth and 0.001 gram sulfonylic acid. And the reaction has been run for 12 hours under 90 degrees C. What we expect to happen is the nitrogen in the sulfonylic acid. We're trying to substitute the carbon in the PMMA. We first acquire the topographies of both untreated and treated samples. By comparing these two figures, we can see after the treatment, the sample looks much rougher than the untreated one. Then, we measure the force curves on each sample. For the untreated sample, we carry out the force curve measurement on a relatively flat surface. For the treated sample, we notice that there are both flat surface and some features on its surface, so we carry out the force curve measurement on both of them. The result shows that after the acid treatment, the estimated friction coefficient become much larger, and the adhesion force on the flat area of the treated sample is comparable to that on the untreated one. However, the adhesion force on the feature becomes much larger. This can be explained by the treatment on the sample may work in an inhomogeneous way. To summarize, what we found in this project is, first, after the sulfonylic acid treatment, the surface of the PMMA piece becomes rougher. The friction coefficient becomes larger. For the adhesion force, there are two possible explanations of what we observed. First is the expected substitution happened, but in a non-homogeneous way. The other is the acid degraded the PMMA piece in a non-homogeneous way. The future work of this project may be to figure out exactly what happened. To do so, other techniques are needed, such as Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to learn more about AFM or find more mini research projects, you can go to the following YouTube channel.